Solving, answering, and enjoying questions with Bernard on MA Fun Fun Quiz. At MA Fun Fun Quiz, we're going to have a quiz time. We're going to be talking about K-pop, Korean tradition, as well as trendy culture. MA Fun Fun Quiz is not difficult or complicated. We're going to provide you with three hints for the answer. The first hint may seem a little difficult, but the second gets a little easier. And the third hint will be a music hint, so make sure to listen carefully. Alright, so let's start today's MA Fun Fun Quiz. First hint for today is from this week, Benji of B.I.G. will be our new regular guest for our Monday Music Charts. Where, what city is he from? Is he from choice number one, Seattle? Choice number two, L.A.? Or choice number three, Hawaii? Second hint is, it is a city in the Pacific Northwest in the United States. My dear friend, singer Sam Kim is also from this area. Alright, so if you guys think you know today's answer, make sure I answer on as your title and send us a message with the correct answer. But for those of you guys that don't know it yet, don't worry, we still have our third and final hint. As I always say, the third hint is usually the most helpful out of all three, so make sure not to miss out on that. Alright, so we're going to listen to another song before we come back and give you guys hit number three. Here is She's So Lovely by Scouting for Girls. And that was She's So Lovely by Scouting for Girls. Alright, so it's finally time to get into our third and final hint for our MA Fun Fun Quiz. But before we get into that, let's go over the first two hints one last time. First hint is, from this week, Benji of B.I.G. will be our new regular guest for our Monday Music Charts. Where is he from? Is it choice number one, Seattle? Choice number two, L.A.? Or choice number three, Hawaii? Second hint is, a singer, Sam Kim, is also from this place. Alright, so hopefully you guys are ready for hint number three. Listen carefully, make sure to figure out what the title of the song that is about to be played it is going to be today's answer. Alright, so can we get the song, Pidini Music Q? Oh, please, my heart is all for you. Just please take care of me, I'm all for you. Well, take, take, take me up for you. Take, take, take me Alright, so if you think you know today's answer, make sure to write answer on as your title and send us a message with the correct answer. We will be announcing the answer after we finish off with our second hour corner. Today it is Monday Music Charts. So make sure to tune in then. We're going to call out the names of those of you guys that get the answers correct. Alright, so we're going to listen to another two songs before we come back with our message time corner. Here is Up All Night by One Direction and Teenage Dream by Katy Perry. Access. And the second hour for Music Access has begun. In just a bit, we're going to be back with Benji of B.I.G. for Woo! our Monday Music Charts. So here's how you guys can listen and participate. If you're using a computer, just visit our website, www.arirangradio.com, and you can listen and watch the program that is live on air. All you need to do is click on the banner that says Music Access, which will take you to our homepage, where you can leave your messages, song requests, and also participate in our weekly corners on our Send Message. And also, you guys can listen through Arirang Cheju FM, but this is only available to our listeners living in the Cheju Island. The frequencies are 88.7 for Cheju City, 88.1 for Sagupo City, and 101.9 for the Tejung area. And you can also listen to us through a smartphone application and DMB Ustream, TuneIn, etc. All you need to do is download the app Arirang Radio, and you can use our services there. Alright, so we're gonna listen to a song before we come back with Benji for our Monday Music Charts Corner. Here is... Sweetest Life by Quay. Going to introduce many kinds of album charts. By topics, by times and places. Monday, Monday Music, music charts. charts! All 
Oh, what up? Benji is What's in good? the studio. Let's get it! Yo, Shout how's out to it been, man? Pretty good, man. How are, how are it's you, been man? Been I it's been a while since I've seen you, man. I missed you. Oh, I missed you too. We've been trying to replace Jay for a long, long time. <laughs> and, you know, you found a good replacement, man. I mean, Jay, Jay's okay, <laughs> but he's like... He's like that that kind of like your 50 cent special at mm-hmm. your daily diner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm like your favorite go-to. He, like, I'm like your usual. You're like, I'll take the usual. Oh, we got you, bro. That's, <laughs> what, that's what I'm like. You know, Jay's I, you know, shout He's going to gonna hear this from like all of his... He's, he's going to get notifications from his like social like, Yo, media. Yo, Benji dissed you. <laughs> yeah, that's right, bro. I dissed you. Send me a diss track, day six. Just kidding. I love day six, though. All shout right, out to day six. so, Benji, you are actually a former DJ. Yes. On our show, man. Yeah, are you feeling pressure? Dude, I remember when I first started, you actually had, like, somebody sent me you doing, like, a little video clip. I think it was on IG, and you kind of, like, shouted me out. Before I even met you, too, which was, I think, it, it really meant a lot, because it was, it was really weird that you even <laughs> knew who I was. Why are you making this so awkward? It's not awkward. I mean, <laughs> I'm just... Never yeah, mind. so I was like, yeah. Um, but appreciate no, it, No, but, though. yeah, it's, it's been cool, because I remember um, after... I had to step down, mm-hmm. and you were the DJ. I remember listening to one um, one uh, broadcast you did, uh-huh. and it was totally different because I'm super like I'm like way up here. Yeah. My level. You know, I'm like, mm-hmm. yo, what's up, guys? It is another Monday. Uh-huh. It's like that, and then I listened to it. I was like, yo, hey guys, uh, welcome <laughs> to Music Access. That's why I was like, do I need to do I need to <laughs> purposely like force myself to be that like ah, energetic, or is that ah, how DJs are supposed to be yo, doing it? You do you, man. You do you. you. Do you. Radio broadcast and mm-hmm. being DJ, it's all about the personality mm-hmm. of the DJ that makes a program. Mm-hmm. And if you're different, you know. Definitely. Variety is the spice of life, man. All right, so because a lot of people noticed you, a lot of people, our, our, our message little feed has been blowing up. Uh, Yannick from Israel said, Benji, welcome to the studio. I'm so glad you're here. Love you so much. Is there a chance you remember me when you were on Sound K? I did on radio with B.I.G. members in June with the promotions of the mini album. Hello, hello. I was there too and signed the album <gasps> for me. It was a very precious memory. Thank you. Love you from Israel. Thank you. Mm-hmm. I do remember signing that. Mm. That was a pretty dumb moment. I actually have a lunch. A, a lunch? A, a lunch, bunch of messages. A bunch. <laughs> Oh, uh, you want to read a couple of those, actually? I will go through these in the style of Buster Rhymes. Buster Rhymes. From Roka from Japan says, Hi, hello, Benji. I'm excited. I was looking forward to every Monday now. Uh, I went to Korea and had a great time. Where are the tourist spots you recommend? I want to go to Ha... 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 During the cherry blossom season. Mm. I would recommend going to... Good food places. Good I only know food, food places. places Same here. I came to Korea and I started, like, as a trainee immediately. Uh-huh. So I don't really know any, like, vacation places, but food... Food, there's a lot of good places to eat in Tonkas. Korea. Tonkas. Tonkas. Pork cutlets. Ooh. We gotta say we gotta we gotta say that. Oh yeah, 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 mm-hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, definitely there's a lot of places. I personally don't like to see like the cherry blossoms. That's because you're not romantic at all. It's it's the allergies. No, like, you're, you're not romantic, man. It, maybe it's not because You gotta I'm, suffer through. So am I supposed to just go there by myself and just suffer? Be very, very awkward. Yeah. Just look at all the couples, the romantic couples, and just be like, oh, I'm just sitting Dude, here I've been know. doing that for six years now. <laughs> <laughs> Every day, you pick out a day. Go down by Hunga. Why, why don't we go next year and see the cherry blossoms together? Nah, I'm not going to yeah, do that. Yeah, we're not going to do that. We ain't going to do that. <laughs> All right, so Monday Music Charts is a corner that we introduce a lot of different kinds of album charts. Today, we're talking about top five idol singers who are good at rapping, singing, and dancing. So Benji's on this list, you probably. know. Probably. If Benji's not on this list, we're probably going to have to... Then just... this is my first and last broadcast. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to tell you which one came from 52nd, and then you, our listeners, are going to have to help us out on which one hits uh, number one on the charts. Uh, and then one lucky person to get the answer correct will win a selfie, so get those answers in ASAP. It's actually, we actually had so many messages. Why don't you just read the names of those? We don't have that much time to read all of I'm them. I'm sorry, but guys. We'll, we'll actually shout you guys out. Shout out to Oksama from Japan. The super gals from, Aust- I think it's Austria. Mm-hmm. I don't know if there's a place called Austria. You need to of Indonesia. What's up? What's up? What's up to Pablo Six? Shout out to Sandra of the USA. Samantha ID. Sammy Jane from Australia. Shreya uh, of Bangladesh. And Paksumi of Korea. Mm. Hamidai. All right. So before we get into our music charts, we're going to be doing a little segment where we like to ask questions and we're trying to see if we're similar or different in certain aspects. Ooh. So Benji, Ooh. are you ready for that? Oh, yeah. 
All right. So Let's get it. First question is, if me or Benji can release a duet song, who would be rapping on it? All right, ready? Three, two, two one. one. Benji. Me. What? What? <laughs> You're kidding, I'm right? I'm the number one rapper in Korea. You haven't heard of me? <laughs> You're kidding, right? <laughs> All right, rap something right now. All right, do it right now. Oh, we're, we're going to do a Yo, freestyle battle Yeah, right I now. can do it right now. Basketball is my favorite sport. I love it when we run up and down the court. Uh. Yeah, that's right. That's it? Hey, that's I got weak. bars for yo, days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That doesn't even sound like a freestyle. You know what's a freestyle? <laughs> Let me show you what's up. Yo, me and Bernard in the studio. Uh -huh. Everywhere we go, you know, we got a flow. Mm. Bernard be the DJ, Benji the guest, but you know him plus me with the MF best. MF best, yo. Mother fathers. I think, I think mine was better, though. Mine was... You could tell mine was... Yo, I need I, to be... That a, was written, bro. I need that to was a, written. I need to be a funk flex right you now, man. You wrote that before you came in the studio. I need to be a sway in the morning, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next question is, if I have to choose one of the performances, I will just like Justin Timberlake or sing a ballad song putting on funny makeup. <laughs> All right, ready? Three, two, one... Dance, Dance like, like Justin, Justin Timberlake. Timberlake. I don't think I want to... But, you know, let's be honest, it's not about whether you want, it's about whether you can dance like Justin Timberlake. You know, I got in training, I dance on stage, but not June. See, the thing is... A lot of people, I don't dance for y'all's sake. Because if I dance, I'd be taking over the industry. It's too much. Y'all, they're not ready for it. <laughs> they're not ready. My... And my body rolls and my waves, dude. Okay, you know we have a camera here. Man. <laughs> if you wanna show and prove, man, walk no, no, it no, like no, it, no, tuck no. it. Hey, walk no, it no, no. like it, tuck it. One thing, if you're good at something, never do it for free. No shit. <laughs> <laughs> I got a, I got a dollar in my pocket, and it's all for you. All right, last question is, what am I good at? Take the top place at a hip hop survival program. Example, show me the money. Or take the top place at a show that competes in multi-sport events with Korean pop idol singers and groups. Example, Ayukte. Alright, ready? Three, two, one. Take the top place at a hip-hop survival. Why are you not saying anything? I was gonna go We're with, doing it together. I was gonna go with that. Was, I mean, it's a pretty long thing. <laughs> like, the answer was way too long. I didn't know where okay, to okay, start. Okay, okay, ready? You go three, two, one. I'll give uh -huh. you a beat and you rap whatever the answer is. Ready? You want me to rap this? Yeah, just rap this sentence. Steady, set, go. Take the top place at a hip hop survival program. Uh, yeah. Hey. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing right now. Gangsta. <laughs> Gangsta. But me, I've always wanted to do one of those multi sport kind of things. What sport? I mean, you know me. I'm a baller. So, bowling? Bowling. <laughs> I'm not that good at bowling, but I'm not bad at it either. If it's a good day, do you, do you like bowling? I do like bowling. I'm not good at it. What, what would you say your average score would be? Like, uh, the first time I did it after a while was like 160. 160. Perfect that's, score is 300, better right? Than me. Yeah, perfect score is 300. But then average is like 80 to 120. 80 to 120. What was the highest score you ever gotten? 180. 180. I think. Man, get out of here, man. Okay, I don't do bowling like you. My highest score was 218. No, but that doesn't exist on this IU day anyway. Oh, really? So what? <laughs> what? What's? I saw. I saw basketball was one of them. Oh, right? I did they basketball. Did a couple of them. I did go out on one of those kind of competitions, but I didn't do too well. Yeah, I was. I was pretty undersized. That's okay. Undersized. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because there was like a model team. And everybody on that team was, was over like, 180. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, which was pretty hard. That's okay. That's why hard. they have a kalchang. Kalchang? Yeah, just do kalchang and like super high platforms. Oh, have you seen like those prosthetic, like kind of like the, the legs where you can like jump? Yeah, 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 yeah. Kangaroos jumpers, yeah. And you can like dunk on people, man. Yeah, get dunked on. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to listen to another song before we come back and continue on with our uh, Monday Music Charts Corner. Here is Gold Watch by Fleur East. And that was Gold Watch by Fleur East. <laughs> All right, so continuing on with the <laughs> Monday music charts. Uh, we actually had a message sent in to us. You want to read their next one? You want me to read this it's one? From, I got it. It's from Zarifa Zafrula of mm -hmm. Malaysia saying, Ha 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 ha. I thought with Benji on the show there will be less argument with Nakjun. But turns out that Benji is just like Jane Tang having an <laughs> argument with Nakjun. Ha ha. Well, Monday Weekly Chart has now turned out to be a freestyle rap session. Mm. I'm going to have to start... Practice in Prepare my your freestyles, man. Yo, have you seen that that one freestyle that Logic did while he was selling? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
I might have to bust that out, man. No, no, no. You got to do what uh, King Los did. King Los? Yeah, Yo, his freestyle. freestyle was pretty amazing, And then I'm going to toss out words. You mix it into your rap. One question. Who's your favorite freestyler right now in the music industry? Right now? Who do you think is the best freestyler right now? <sighs> I'm not going to respond to that. You, know, you don't want to respond to me, that? You got to give me some time to think about that. Yo. I haven't been keeping up. Yo, Black Thought, though. Black Thought. I would easily pick Childish Gambino. Eh, he's dope, but I mean, you know, you gotta mess with like you think you saw the Black Thought freestyle, mm -hmm. yeah, and the ten minutes of yeah, just yeah, doing yeah, yeah. that, you gotta respect the OGs, man. Mm. All right, so <laughs> continuing on, it is time to get into Segway. our top five charts today. We're talking about top five idol singers who are good at rapping, singing, and dancing, like Bernard. All right, Benji, can yes, you please sir. start us off? Top five idol singers who are good at rapping, vocal, and dancing. Number five is. Trey Yu Chung of Wiki Mickey. Ah, so Trey Yu Chung is in charge of rapping in the group Wiki Mickey. She appeared in a show wearing a mask in order to conceal her identity and showed off her talented vocal skills. Ooh. And also, when she was younger, she wanted to be a choreographer thanks to her talented dancing skills. Ooh. So, Benji. Yes. Growing up, yes. were you always. Like, I guess, trying to be in the music industry. I mean, uh, I know you had a very, very big music background. I was always violin in. Mm -hmm. I was always, you know, performing. Mm -hmm. uh, I loved being on stage. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't really a singer or a dancer. Mm -hmm. It was all instrumental. When did you start dancing and singing? Like, officially? Uh-huh. Coming to Korea. Coming to Korea? Yeah. You didn't, like, did you have, like, a crew back at home where, like, everybody was? Because I know there was a phase, at least in Atlanta, where everybody was trying to be a b-boy or a popper. That's true. Uh -huh. That's true. That was the thing. But for me, my crew was a two violins, a violist, and a, a cello. You, we call it a quartet uh -huh. in classical music terms. That's pretty interesting, though. That's pretty I, dope, right? Because I didn't. I did. I was never in the orchestra. I uh -huh. was in the band, so uh -huh. I played. I played saxophone and stuff like that. But I never really met up with, I guess, my other bandmates to kind of like jam out, especially with my saxophone and stuff. <laughs> But that's because you were busy popping in uh, b boying. Oh, I mean, yo. Yeah, you. We got different clues for different things. My flares. They're on point, man. So, guys, he's going to upload this on the IG after <laughs> today. He's going to find a video, find a place to dance. Yo, you got to show and prove, man. Yeah. I mean, what about you? Like, what's what's something that you think you're talented on besides singing that you can show on stage at the same time? Show on stage at the same time? Yeah. Uh, okay. So, not related to singing? No, it has to... Well, yeah, that's not singing. Oh, man. Well, like, you know, you can dance and sing or you can rap. So, the thing, let's try... Okay, so me, I can do... Like opera, but I can do counter tenors. Ooh! So you know, like you know how guys normally they'll have they'll use their regular voice when they sing, but counter tenors they try to do like they try to sound more feminine or like try to hit the higher notes with like the falsetto kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do it decently well. I want like, to hear it right now. I've never yeah. showed anybody that except my vocal teacher. Yo, yo, yo. that's why, like, I, you know, you know that one program where they they cover up her face with the yeah, mask yeah, yeah, yeah. and they try to guess who the singer is. Yeah, I was thinking about trying to do that and try to do like just total like. You should wild. do that. I wanted to, but then again, we just ruined it. We just ruined no, it. no, no, no one. Shh, no one knows. Shh, no one knows. Everybody no keep knows. it a secret. Maybe no one, one day. Maybe one day. All right, continuing on. Top five idol singers who are good at rapping, singing, and dancing. And the fourth one is. Jungkook of BTS. Yo, shout out to Jungkook. Yo, JK. Jungkook is a main vocalist in BTS, but he learned dancing in the United States, so he's good at dancing and rapping as well. And it is known that he has good diction while rapping, and since he is talented in many areas, his nickname is Gold Youngest Member. Mm. I guess. Benji, Yo. did you have a nickname while you're in the group? Like, did they give you a little nickname or anything like that? 
미친놈. <laughs> Call me the crazy, crazy man. Crazy man. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you can say that on the air. I don't think it's a bad word, but it's uh-huh. like it's a. They call me the crazy guy. Ah. Uh-huh. And then uh, way back in the states, they call me the the crazy Asian kid. Oh, really? Yeah, man. They always called me octopus <laughs> or nakji. <laughs> they always like find a way to make fun of my name, but even to this day, I still get called nakji. Like I get so many like octopus emojis sent my <laughs> way. Sometimes it gets pretty old, but at the same time, if my friend was named that, I probably would have sent it to you, honestly. You should have called yourself Nakji, not Nakjun, man. Nakjun. Such a waste of potential for your name. Yeah, I, should have, I should have just used that as my main name. So disappointing. Alright, continuing on. Benji, can you please take us up with our next song? Top 5 idol singers who are good at rapping, singing, and dancing. The third person is... And that was Iminyak of B2B. B2B! Alright, Iminyak is in charge of rapping, but Iminyak is majored in musical theater. Thus, his voice is stable when he sings. Uh-huh. And thus, he has pretty good physique. Iminyak, who is known as a powerful dancer, has beautiful dance lines. <laughs> Alright, Benji. Yes, sir. Uh, a lot of, a lot of uh, idols and a lot of mainstream singers try to go into like the musical industry. Yeah. Have you ever thought about doing like a musical maybe or maybe have you ever like done one I when actually, you were younger I actually can't really spoil this mm-hmm. but within this year I may or may not do a musical yo maybe, maybe. it's unconfirmed mm-hmm. I don't know mm-hmm. so it might not happen mm-hmm. but I may do it yeah I'm, you have to, I'm gonna have to go watch that though yo, if I, I, I've always wanted to do one too what kind of musical see the thing is I've always liked Disney <laughs> so like if I could ever do something like that I think I'd be able to kill it, Dude, honestly. You're, you have the counter tenor ability, so do mm. a whole new world, but do both boy and girl Maybe parts. I should do a female role. Yeah, no, 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 not what I was going for. I'm saying. <laughs> Who knows? I could I could be Jasmine in, in Aladdin or something. <laughs> well, why are you laughing, man? I was being completely serious. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. You wouldn't want to see me in a little uh, princess dress? Take, take in the role so moving on so who's, our, <laughs> who's our next idol singer alright top 5 idol singers <laughs> who are good at rapping singing and dancing and the second one is CL of 21. Yes! So CL is in charge of rapping in 21, and she went to a famous dance academy to learn jazz dancing when she was in the third grade in her elementary school, that she's excellent in dancing as well. Respect for CL, mm-hmm. yo. You gotta wear the sunglasses mm-hmm. when you listen to CL songs. She's got that attitude and that swagger whenever she's on that stage. Hey! Uh, Benji, uh, you... Did you go to a musical... music school? I did. I did. I did go to college for music. Mm-hmm. How was that like? It was dope. Do you do you think do, would you recommend it or like? I think really it all boils down to, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna say this very openly. Mm-hmm. I think college is a very important institution based on what you want to do, mm-hmm. but college is not a direct answer for everybody. Mm-hmm. You know, this is as close to like as I can get. Mm-hmm. But you know, for some certain. Um, occupations mm-hmm. or for some futures college is a prerequisite mm. but then for other occupations mm-hmm. you know there's a lot of singers who didn't go to college yeah, yeah, yeah. but then you have people like Charlie Puth who mm-hmm. went to Berkeley mm-hmm. and so it really it whatever you want to learn mm-hmm. I think that kind of bases on mm-hmm. either you're going to go to college or a different institution mm-hmm. or something like that the one thing that I was kind of jealous about the people that went to school was they get to meet everybody that is super super talented as well too. Oh, that's pretty dope. It like it puts you in the same area, so it's like you get to kind of mingle with them, learn a little bit about them, ask for help. But then when you're doing everything by yourself, sometimes you only know the people that you know that do music. Uh, but yeah, I, I've always wanted because I I did a class in high school where it was like a beat making producing kind of class, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and they didn't really have a set like I guess a university or a college uh, that kind of yeah, yeah, majored yeah, yeah. in that in Atlanta. Maybe there was, but I didn't really 
see it or I, I asked them but they were always like recommended like berkeley and stuff like that which honestly i didn't think i was gonna get into dude you're from atlanta man you gotta hook up with gucci man gucci because he's he's the gucci man. i actually balled with him once really yeah what's he like he was kind of he, he, he i don't know like he's not because <laughs> you know how sometimes like whenever like you get that pa- famous and popular like you kind of want time to yourself yeah, and yeah, you yeah. don't want to be disturbed because yeah, yeah. he was with uh a couple of friends there too and i don't know i just was like yo i'm digging the music trying to trying to get a game in real quick and he was like yeah but at the same time he still kind of seemed like i, I don't want to bother yeah him i just want to have a quiet basketball yeah. game with my homies mm-hmm. see you guys i bet you're gonna be like that one day should i get a face tattoo too i think <laughs> you should if you got ice cream you should get an octopus right in the middle of your forehead <laughs> All right, so it is a long way to one. We have a hint box that has the three hints. That's going to help us out on the number one spot on the charts. Benji, can you please tell us what those three hints are? You know, I practiced for this. Oh, did you? Yeah, because I saw Jay do it, and he kind of sucked at it. <laughs> Loser! <laughs> All right, so the first hint is... I'm going to read this last. It's too easy of a hint. Mm-hmm. The first hint is... This is also too easy. All these hints are so obvious. Okay, the first hint is a married man. Mm. Mm, I'm a married man. Not really. The second hint is... Big Bang. Big Bang. The third hint is... Nom nom and ba da ba. Uh, yo, these hints are yo, way too easy. Yeah, We're making it, it way we, too easy for Guys, them, we all know it's GD. Mm-hmm. Alright, so we're going to listen to another song before we come back and reveal which song or which artist hit number one on our charts. Here is Want to Want Me by Jason Derulo. How about? All right, and that was Want to Want Me by Jason Derulo. All right, so continuing on with our Monday music charts, it is time to get into the number one spot. But before we get into that, can you please repeat those three hints one last time? The hints are Big Bang, Married Man, and Naman Paraba, Look at Me Only. Mm, so, who so, do you think is first? I mean, it's pretty obvious. It's pretty obvious. It's it's T.O.P., man. Mm-hmm. No, it's you know tough. what? I think it's Sungmi. It's Sungmi, it's Sungmi, yeah. Yo, shout out to his ramen place. It's pretty good. <laughs> Yo, it's pretty good, It's honestly. pretty good. I'm not gonna I lie. It's pretty good. All right, guys. So, number one is Sungmi? I don't know. Who, who is number one? All right. You want to reveal that? Do I do it? Yes. For top five idol singers who are good at rapping, singing, and dancing, the first place is drumroll, please. <laughs> Taeyang a oh, Big Bang. Alright, so that was Tang of Big Bang, dude. Dang. He was definitely one of the artists that I really, really love listening to. He's like, pretty dope. He always finds a way to, like, amaze me with a lot of his skill and talent. Like, and keep it fresh, So too. good vocally, and at the same time, like, he dances like no other man. Yeah. And then when he released the Ringo Lingo, I was like, oh, he raps, too. And then I found mm-hmm. it, you know, he was originally a rapper of the group. Was he really? He originally started learning rapping. Mm. Apparently, when uh, he and, and GD were younger. Really? That's no what idea. I that's what I learned. Yo, that's crazy. Anyway, so uh, for what the hints meant, mm-hmm. it's a uh, Taeyang of Big Bang is known as a talented singer dancer who also raps. But when he first joined, here we go. When he first joined YG Entertainment, he was in charge of rapping. Mm. Taeyang rapped for Seungri's solo song "Let's Talk About Love." It was only a small portion, but he showed his clear diction and groove. And he's the only married man in Big Bang. And he got married recently too, right? Yeah. And then he went straight to the army. Oh, did he really? Yeah, he's I had no idea. Now. Yeah. Yo. Props to him, though. Yo, props. Hopefully, hopefully he stays healthy and safe. Yeah. And he doesn't get injured while he's there. Shout out to Big Bang. Mm-hmm. All right. So, unfortunately, it is already time to wrap things up for our Monday Corner. Benji, yes. how was the first day? It was I. You did okay. I did okay. Hopefully, you'll cool. do better next week. Oh, I, I, the reason why I called you out was so that I can... Learn from steal, the master. Steal Learn from the master. From you, you know. <laughs> it was good. Yo, do we have to read these names? Oh, yeah. We actually... We're going to call out... The people that actually got the answers correct, and then 
Benji. You could pick one person. All right. To send the selfie to. So, uh, congratulations to Zarifa Safula, Malaysia, Samantha of Australia, Daniela of Australia, Shreya of Bangladesh, Paksumi of Korea, Elaine Q of the Philippines, Leontio of Singapore, Yunita of Indonesia, Mona of Thailand, Darcy of the USA, Melissa Bermib of Peru, and Siri of Finland. You read that super quick. I don't know how much time we have. <laughs> so, uh. We want to give the selfie too. My birthday is May 3rd. So five plus three is eight. Let's go down the list to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that right? You know how to count, right? <laughs> is that right? <laughs> is that right? <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's this one right there. Yeah, okay. All right, so congratulations, Unita from Indonesia. Make sure to send us another message to email. We'll get that selfie to you ASAP. Yeah. All right, so Benji, do you have any plans for the rest of the day? Uh, my parents are in Korea right now, Your so parents I'm, I'm gonna kick it with my parents, mm. and then I may see you later. You may see us. I'm saying not y'all, but me. <laughs> Planning on maybe going balling. You maybe because know. you know we ballers. I'm about to. I'm about to. You you better get your ankles wrapped up, man. <laughs> yeah, if I go, I'm going in vans, bro. I mean, I mean the shoes that are like uh -huh, forty dollars. Low tops. Yeah, low tops. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna send Benji out with this next song. Here is "Not Too Young" by Icona Pop. Bye bye. Bye. And we are back, and that was "Not Too Young" by Icona Pop. All right, so it's finally time to reveal the answer for our MA Fun Fun quiz from the first hour. Hope you guys all got the answers correct. Today's answer is Seattle. So Benji is from Seattle, Washington in the United States. All right, so we had a lot of listeners sending in their answers today. Let's read out the names of those of you guys that got the answers correct. Today's people were Sandra from the United States, Manny from the USA, Darcy Ann from the USA, Lane Q from the Philippines, Paksumi from Korea, Yannet from Israel, Samantha from Australia, Leo T Leon Tio from Singapore, Unita from Indonesia, Bring the Light from India, Orange Girl from Korea, Chomigyong from Korea, Mika from South Africa, Myself from the Philippines, Melissa Bermib from Peru, Ari from Thailand, Kim Jong Tae from Korea, Kimmy from the United States, Naji Sun from Korea, and last but not least, Andy Pendy from Australia. All right, so thank you, everybody, for taking a part of our MA Fun Fun quiz. Make sure to look forward for tomorrow's quiz as well. And as always, don't forget to participate. All right, so it's time to listen to some request songs that you guys have been amazing in sending in, as always. We're going to listen to The Sound by the 1975, which was requested by Cho Mi-kyung from Korea, and If I Die Young by band Perry, and this is requested by Crimson Rose from...